I really don't feel like messing up my makeup, so it's not gonna be pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I have hair. I went to go move it, but it's contour. <laughs> Story of my life. So and I look just fabulous. I'm just joking. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't noticed already from the title, this whole look is going to be just from drugstore products. Honestly, I love, love, love how it came out. I'm a huge fan of drugstore products. I do have to say, and you will see, the only thing that I didn't use is blush, only because I didn't have any. I am looking for some good ones. If you can comment down below and let me know what they are, I will really, really appreciate it. It's just the time right now, um, due to everything that's going on, I really felt like it was a risk just to go out, so it wasn't worth it, and I'm sure you all understand. But if you want to know how I got this look right over here, then please keep watching. Okay, so I know I look a little funny right now. Excuse my hair and a few rollers, a few, like many. Um, I'm just doing a TikTok tutorial later of how I keep my curl, etc. So if you guys want to see that, follow me. It's just Advice Boutique. It's literally the same thing. And anyway, so yeah. And if you guys actually want to see this on my channel here more in depth, because you know TikTok is very quick, I can definitely do that for you guys as well. So anyways, I am going to start off first with primer using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty. This is new to me, but I think I've used this probably like four or five times so far and I love it. Honestly, I don't use a lot. I just use it where I really get oily and I'm pretty much obsessed. I can't believe I didn't get this earlier, but I really, really recommend this. I love it. So I actually use this foundation on a regular. My Holy Grail, the one I've raved about before, um, is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm obsessed with this. I love the coverage. It's literally such a good product for what the price is. And again, it's drugstore, so it's awesome. And I use the shade 310. It's really, really nice. Again, the coverage is beautiful. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This is a good dupe for a Tarte Shape Tape in my opinion. I honestly have both and I really do love both. So if you are on a budget, the Infallible um, uh, L'Oreal Concealer is really good. So I'm using two shades. I'm using 360 and 365. I really love the shade 360 because it's very brightening and I love that. If you guys know me, you guys know I love concealer and I love a really bright under eye. And I'm going to put a little bit up on my forehead, just a little bit down the nose. A bit right here. And a little bit right on the sides. I've been wanting to film this for quite a bit and um, I really do love drugstore. I like to mix. I mean, I love high-end as well, but there's certain products that I feel like you can definitely buy drugstore and there's certain things I feel like it's okay to splurge if you have it um, to do a little bit of the high-end as well. So I just want to add a little bit of 365, just like right here, and blend. And I always take um, whatever's on my beauty blender and bring it up on my eyelids as well. So to contour my face, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I kind of squeezed a little bit out already, but I feel like this is going to be a lot. So I'm going to grab a little brush. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is actually for eyeshadow, but I'm just kind of using what I have right in front of me. So I'm going to just grab. I really don't feel like messing up my makeup. So I know if a lot comes out, it's not going to be pretty. Ah, it's so cool. A little mirror so I can see a little bit better. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I have hair. I went to go move it, but it's contour. <laughs> Story of my life.
So if you did what I did and kind of like got two in the middle of your nose, I'm just gonna grab some concealer on a brush. I'm just using that lighter shade, the 360, because I want to highlight. And this is just going to clean it all up. I'm also going to clean it up after with the powder just right on the sides of my nose to just kind of give me that chiseled look. And I like to use my fingers sometimes as well because the warmth of my finger makes the product like melt, makes the uh, makeup melt a little bit. So when I look just fabulous, I'm just joking. You know, I'm, I like to play, I like to play. So now I'm just gonna blend it out, but I'm using the foundation brush that I was using before because I feel like because there's still product on there, it's gonna blend a lot nicer. And whatever is on my beauty blender, I'm just going to go over the lips. So now to blend out my nose, I'm just going to use the other side of that brush. This is the Huda Beauty brush, and I'm just going to blend it out. just cleaning up the edges like I said I would because I feel like this really does really um, get the nose chiseled make it look straighter just taking So for brows, I'm just going to brush them up a little bit. You know what I really wanted to try? Comment down below let me know if you've tried this. The soap that kind of um, makes your eyebrows stick up. I don't know if you could use just any clear soap. So if you know, let me know. But I definitely want to get into that because, I mean, like, why not? It makes you have, like, fuller brows. And you know we're all about that life. Well, at least I am. I'm going to be using the... Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Deep Brown. So it just kind of looks like this. I'm taking my Estee Lauder brush and I'm just grabbing some of the product. And I like to kind of clean it up here a little bit, kind of take off the excess because I'm not trying to have like really, um, I was gonna say thick, not thick, really like prominent brows. But I just want to shape them and make sure that, you know, they're all nicely filled. I always start like right there. Bring them always a little bit up. But for a drugstore, this honestly reminds me so much of the Anastasia Brow Pomade and it is like a fraction of the price. I do feel like the brow pomade though is not expensive for how much product you get. I mean, it does last you quite a bit, but this is literally like the same thing. I don't see any difference. Even the color to me is like perfect. I definitely need to do my eyebrows so but you know what I don't like doing my eyebrows like tweezing them or whatever um, without my eyebrows full because then I feel like I take too much and I'm actually trying to grow up my eyebrows so that's just a tip if you are trying to grow out your eyebrows and you need to like clean them up definitely fill in your eyebrows first and then just go around them just to clean it up just for maintenance So for eyeshadow, I have the Remo Scandal Eyes in the shade 003 Bad Girl Bronze. I'm just going to put a little bit on my crease. I don't care if it's messy because these are amazing to blend out. Like 
Like, look how pretty this is. It's so pretty. And I mean, it's drugstore. It's so nice. And you can use this like with your fingers. You don't have to use a brush like me. This is just kind of the, like the look that I was going for. And I'm bringing it kind of towards my brows and extending it. Kind of gives that like cat eye look. So for eyeliner, instead of doing like a traditional black, I'm going to be using the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a turn on, gosh, this is so long. What does it say? Waterproof, yeah, whatever. I <laughs> Waterproof eyeliner, you guys, you guys get what I'm saying. Anyways, this is the Golden Olive Shade, and I love it because I feel like it kind of brings out my eyes a little bit. So I'm just gonna be putting it on um, the rim of my eye. Just a little bit. Just a little bit made like a little bit of difference and that's exactly what I wanted. So, so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. If you are just stuck with like black eyeliners and that's all that you love, just try different colors. Honestly, they are so amazing and that is super blendable, so it's literally perfect for eyeshadow as well. So I'm actually going to try that. I think it's so fun to play with makeup and just to see what else like kind of works. I was going to use a little bit of that bronzy eyeshadow on the bottom. I'm gonna see how I feel, but for right now, I'm gonna put on mascara. So for mascara, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail, the Essence Mascara. This is the False Lash Effect Mascara. They do come in other colors, but I recommend getting this. Honestly, just, just try it. It's so worth it, I promise you. There are so many good mascaras out there. I'm just really stuck on this. And I mean, it's $5, so you can't really go wrong. And for how many times that you've purchased mascara, it's absolutely worth it. I'd rather spend my money on other stuff. I was working in, um, the makeup industry years ago and I remember some girls like my mascara sucks and I'm like oh why and I was just curious and she goes well it always gets like right here and I'm like girl it's because you got long lashes so rock it she's like oh I never thought about that hello like people pay for this so I just cleaned up where my mascara made a mess. I'm going to be using for lips the NYX Tractable Lip Liner in Natural. I'm just gonna fill out the edges. I'm using the NYX Soft Cream Lip Color in the shade Cario. This is like my new favorite, but I only like it in the very center of my lips. And I always add chapstick before that. So I did that like in the beginning before I even filmed, like I cleansed my face, I put chapstick on. So just a tip with that, just because it's a little bit more drying. So I'm almost done. I have blush and I have highlighter left. So for blush, again, I really, really apologize. I didn't want to go out just for blush, but I'm just going to be using the Anastasia blush kit. And I really want to use the, um, like the pinky shade. I've been just really into pink lately. So the pigment is like really good on this. So I really, really like it. I feel like pinky blushes are really in now. Don't you guys notice that? It's like everywhere, isn't it? I always add a little bit on my nose. So how pretty is that blush? I'm literally obsessed. Uh, for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. This stuff is so, so good. Honestly, for drugstore, it is amazing. So I'm just gonna grab a little brush like this. I'm just gonna go on the tip of my nose. Like how pretty is that? Just kind of bring it up here. Right there. 
Like it's really pigmented. And I don't know if I want to add on my cheeks to be honest. Should I add some? I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a little bit, but I'll just use like my finger. I think I put too much. This stuff's really pigmented, that's why I didn't want to put it on. So maybe I'll just go like this. Just a little bit. Little bit don't hurt nobody. Right there. So the final step, I promise, is a setting spray. I actually forgot to do this before I put on mascara, but I'll just cover my eyes. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray for Drugstore. This stuff's the bomb.com. We are done. Okay, so what do you guys think? I absolutely love how it came out. It's very simple, yet very put together, and that's what I really, really love. Again, I love drugstore products, and I love you all so much. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. If you have not subscribed to me yet, come on, like, what are you waiting for? I am doing a bunch of more videos coming up. Please hit the notification bell to get notified when a new video is up, and I love you all so, so much.